All right, take a look at this. We want to introduce you to Trinity Kelso on the left, a junior at Sussex Tech. Evan Chang on the right is a senior at Caesar Rodney. Now, between the two, they're involved with the National Honor Society, the National Technical Honor Society, the Chinese Club, the Computer Science Club, the debate team, honor rolls, volunteering. The list goes on. <laughs> and now, as part of the United States Senate Youth Program, Evan and Trinity are headed to Washington to meet with the president, senators, congressional members, a Supreme Court justice, but not before they make a stop in Historic Studio D. We are honored to have them this afternoon, Evan, uh, and Trinity. This yeah. afternoon, tell us more about uh, what is going on with you guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. It's wonderful to see you this afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon. Thank, Thank you so much for having us. So, tell me what the United States Senate Youth Program is. So, uh, the United States Senate Youth Program is a week-long uh, intensive scholarship program in partnership with the Hearst Foundation and the United States Senate. Um, so, it's focused on engaging America's youth with kind of the inner workings of American government. Uh, it's kind of designed to help us get hands-on uh, experience from high-caliber elected officials. So, we're going to be meeting with uh, members of the different branches of government and kind of seeing how important democracy and the republic is to our nation and other nations as well. Wow. Yeah, I'd like to do that. Well, <laughs> it's like an extremely competitive um, mayor-based program. They select two students from each state with like their own selecting policies for each state. And then we all go to Washington for Washington week and we kind of learn from those officials. So how do they pick you? How do you qualify? Yeah, so um, yeah, as I said before, so like every state kind of has like a different um, selection process. But what's common among most of them is that um, each high school nominates one person so like for me, I had to give a speech within my high school to my teachers to be nominated as that person from school. And then there's also like a paper application that you send to the um, state agency. And then uh, I also had a civics test on like mm -hmm. American current events and okay. history. Um, that's like a test that is used by the other states through the nation too. It's created by the Hearst Foundation. Mm -hmm. And then at the end, I also had an interview with um, five members of like education positions in state government. Wow, yeah. that was easy. <laughs> that is <laughs> it was <incredible>. a lot. <laughs> so this is obviously an experience that you're looking forward to. Yeah. But there's mm -hmm. also a scholarship involved. There is. So the Hearst Foundation provides uh, us with a ten thousand dollar undergrad scholarship for each of us. So it's designed to encourage us to go into uh, courses where we're studying uh, public policy, international affairs, or uh, history. Wow. Yeah. So do you plan on going into public service after graduation? Yes. Yeah. 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 Um, like personally, I'm thinking about um, like possibly law and maybe like legal advocacy as like a possible career option. I think it's um, definitely something that would be a great way to kind of exercise like the knowledge of gain and turn it into actual like social progress. Right? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> so what are you looking forward to the most in what's uh, coming up? Ooh. Definitely meeting the other delegates. <laughs> Definitely, like yeah, meeting yeah. Evan this morning was such an experience, yeah. and like we've all gotten really close, like via social media. So I think that'll be really interesting, um, especially with the Department of Defense Education activity. She's from Italy this year, so like we're definitely intermingling. And then also getting to meet all the high caliber officials. Like it's not every day that a kid from small town Sussex County gets to yeah. meet Trump. Like yeah. it's, it's <laughs> not an everyday thing. Sure. Um, yeah, sure. and like it's always kind of been like. A dream to like meet a Supreme Court justice, but then yeah. finding out, um, like December of last year, that I would be meeting one like this March. That was kind of just crazy because that was kind of a dream I was thinking about. Oh, maybe like sometime down the road in my life, I'll like happen to meet one sometime, but no, Someday. it's happening just a couple months. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not crazy. So, you're gonna meet the Supreme Court justice. What are you gonna ask? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, it's just like asking, like. I guess my biggest question would be like what like has kind of like what moment has like solidified their career like yeah. what is like their definitive moment that was like this is what I want to do and this is what I want to spend the rest of my life doing because mm -hmm. I think that's powerful. <laughs> yeah I think I would ask so like with the addition of new justices and like the controversies around that how do they kind of still keep the court together and like it like kind of descending into conflict like like our congress or something like that. <laughs> Wow. These, I, I wish I could be as smart as these two are. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, have a great time. Yes. Soak it all in Thank and you. give us an update. Please. Yes. Yes. When you get back, congratulations. Please, please. Evan and Trinity. <laughs> <Man>. Wow. <laughs>